We are back with some more college basketball action here for Friday, January 20th. I've got a couple of games I want to take a look at here on today's card, so let's jump right into it. Now we start out today's show in the MAC as Ball State takes on Kent State. Ball State comes into this game as the 215th overall team in the hot tip at power ranking. Kent State is the 93rd overall team, and it's a Kent State team that I have absolutely loved watching all season long. You know, come into this game following a great win over Eastern Michigan. And it's just a team that really continues to look very, very good. Played very close games against Houston and Gonzaga. I mean, that Gonzaga game had opportunities to win late. Ultimately, you know, the, the got out of hand um, in the last few minutes, but it's a team in Kent State that since that game has gone on a nine game winning streak. They've only lost three games the entire season. Really just a very, very dangerous team. But Ball State has also played well this season, 13 and five overall. They're four and one here in Mac play coming to this game following a win over Western Michigan and purely offensively speaking, Ball State has been the better team in this matchup A 52.4 effective field goal percentage on the year, hitting 37.3% from beyond the arc. Ball State really is a good shooting team but that's not to say Kent State's a bad shooting team because offensively they haven't been terrible a 49 effective field goal percentage overall hitting 32.7 percent from beyond the arc Sinclair Carey leads the way with 16.9 points per game offensively he has been a big big piece of this Kent State offense but it's really more the defense that makes this Kent State team so so special defensively They've just been absolutely remarkable this season. I mean, their shot defense has been great, but not to mention they're one of the best teams in the country in the turnover department. They're the 13th best team in the country when it comes to purely forcing turnovers, forcing turnovers on 24.1% of their opponent's possessions. That's an area that Ball State has certainly struggled in here. Gets nowhere close to Kent State, only forcing turnovers on 18.2% of their opponent's possessions. Ball State has also done the worst job holding on to the basketball offensively, turning it over on 18.3% of their possessions. Sessions, while Kent State's only turning it over on 16.5% of theirs. Really, it is that turnover advantage that has made me bet this Kent State team multiple times this season. Um, and it's a big reason why they keep covering some of these larger spreads, even going up against one of the better teams in the MAC this season in Ball State. Kent State has just looked so, so good. Um, they've been so, so competitive. And I think they keep the winning streak alive with a pretty big win here in this one. Taking Kent State minus nine here against Ball State. And quickly, before we look at the second game on today's card, if you haven't already checked out the website, head over to hottipbets.com. We got college basketball, NBA, NHL, NFL, UFC, and horse racing picks being posted every single day. So make sure you take a look at all of that. Also, follow the Hot Tip Bets main account at Hot Tip Bets on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter to stay up to date with all the content over there, as well as my personal accounts at Hot Tip Bets Chris on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter to stay up to date with all the content that I'm putting out. And also on Best Stamp, where you can get early access to all of my picks and get a notification every single time that I place a bet and last but definitely not least for watching here on youtube hit that like button subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future picks and most importantly drop a comment down below let me know who you guys are betting on for today's card and let's get into the second game Next up, we head to the A-10 as VCU takes on Richmond. VCU comes into this game as the 67th overall team in the high Tibet power ranking. Richmond is the 97th overall team overall. It's been an A-10 conference that has been very fun to watch this season for Richmond. Come into this game following a win over Rhode Island in their last game. And overall, Richmond certainly has had some hiccups this season. But for the most part, it's been away from home. I mean, they've been a very good team at home this season. They're 9-1 one on the year the only loss coming against wichita state very early on in the year um but they have struggled a little bit away from home only two and seven um games not at home this season so definitely a better team at home and in this spot a strong position to be in um but it's not like it's a bad vcu team at all they're 14 and 5 on the season coming to this game following a win over umass they've looked very good in a 10 play as well and, and just shooting wise there's two teams that are offensively very very good this season for vcu hitting a 52.1 effective field goal percentage on the year also dropping 35.8% from beyond the arc. Brandon Johns Jr. has led the way for this VCU team with 12.5 points per game. Um, really, they have been a strong shooting team. But the Spiders have also been a good shooting team for Richmond. A 52 effective field goal percentage on the year, hitting 34.8% from beyond the arc. Tyler Burton has been an outstanding player 
all through for this Richmond team, 19.6 points per game. Um, you know, definitely a, a huge difference maker when he is on the court. And he's also been a strong rebounder, leads this Richmond team with 7.8 rebounds per their game. And that's one area that Richmond has really played very, very well this season, rebounding the ball, especially off the defensive glass. They're the 25th best defensive rebounding team in the country this season, pulling down 76% off the defensive glass. VCU, well, not terrible defensively, have struggled a little bit in the rebound department, only pulling down 67.9%, not to mention Richmond's shot defense has also looked very good this season. And like we said, they've just been a very, very good team at home this season, going up against VCU in this game. I think Richmond should be more than a pick in this game, taking them plus 100 here against VCU.